For this episode of Brutal Battle Beer Break, I'm going to be getting to know a beer by the Lost Abbey uh, out of San Marcos, California. Uh, I haven't done one on the podcast or on this show, um, the YouTube version here. Um, So this will be a first for Lost Abbey stuff, like I said, out of San Marcos, California. This is an ale that has hops and Britannomyces, so it should have some funky, uh, probably sourish notes to it. And it is 6.8% alcohol by volume. Um, A lot of the beers that are put out by Lost Abbey are cork and caged. This one, obviously, as you can see, no different. Let's see if we can get that satisfying pop out of it. More than satisfying, actually. Love that. Love that noise. Just a nice, clean pop. All right, let's get this in the glass. Decent amount of head as I pour it. Very white, pillowy head to it. Oh, let you see. Uh, see, Lost Abbey. It's Saint's Devotion is the name of the beer. Uh, this one came with my Rare Beer of the Month Club. Yes, the Michael Jackson curated Rare Beer of the Month Club. Um, so anyway, I should say Michael Jackson created Rare Beer of the Month Club, not the singer. Super clear beer, um, very orangish, a little yellowish tinge to the orange. Nice big head, like I was saying. It looks really nice, man. This is so filtered. It's just like super clear. Ooh, yeah. It smells sour. Uh, You get a lot of like lemony, a little bit of like a peel note in there on the lemon, but um, so much like acidic lemon juice. Smells a little bit of like a spiciness in there too. Probably coming from the hops, a little piney, earthy to go along with that. Smells a tad bit astringent, which is kind of odd, but that also may be a little bit of confusion with um, the acidic nature. Um, anybody who doesn't know about Britannomyces, I'm assuming a lot of people do at this point because it's become pretty popular. Um, it's just a yeast that produces a lot of acidic acid. Um, originally was viewed as being a terrible thing because it created very undesirable uh, notes in beers, but then people figured out how to use them uh, to their benefit and make good beers like Goozes, Oud Bruins, Sour Farmhouse Ales, things like that. Hmm. Okay, there's a slight bit of sourness to it. It's really not all that sour, honestly. Um, I'm getting a significant spiciness. I'm getting that funk. You get this kind of interesting funkiness with uh, Britannomyces as well. Yeah, the sourness is really just kind of a little bit at the end. But when it's... uh, when the beer is kind of uh, trailing off and what it's leaving on my palate is more of like a bitter uh, rind, like lemon rind type flavor with just the slightest bit of uh, sourness. And like I was saying, you know, it's got that spiciness. It's got that kind of earthiness from the hops. Um, eh, I mean, I'm getting the funk from the Britannomyces, which is kind of nice. I'm getting a slight bit of acid, but I'm not all that impressed with this beer, to be honest. Hmm. It's okay. It's an easy drinking beer. Um, I'll keep drinking it, uh, no problem. I don't know. It might be a situation where, god damn it, breweries bottle date, bottle date, please. It could be uh, a little on the older side, so therefore um, a lot of like the hop notes have kind of died out. You know, maybe it was a more robust beer before, but as it is, I'm gonna be honest. I'm not really gonna recommend this beer to people. Um, eh. So our first experience on the show with Lost Abbey. Sorry, Lost Abbey. Not so hot. But if you want to send me beers we can try on the show, feel free to. Contact me at BrutalBattlePodcast at gmail.com. Anyone else, if you want to send me some you know, information, want to say, I like this, I don't like that, uh, suggestions for beers that you want to see done, please do so. Anyway, thanks everyone for joining me. Too bad this one was kind of a stinker. Uh, but join me next time. It might be something awesome. Go ahead and have yourself a beer.